you know, it's a beautiful day except for the rain. Of course. I wanted to talk about something. Uh, if you guys were following me for a good minute, uh, about a year I'd say, maybe? About a year ago, I made a video about um, a couple behind us being in a domestic abuse type situation. I talked about the fact that it was a lesbian couple and how scary it was when we first heard this going down. That was a year ago. Eat Kayana. It was a whole last year ago. Wow. We've complained on them many, many times. We've called the cops many times. They would keep us up all hours at night many times. Fighting each other so bad, you know, you think one of them was killing each other, and slamming each other against the wall, all that shit. The cops came, no charges were pressed because one woman, the one who was being abused apparently, was trying to, you know, take up for the other one, saying, oh no, she's fine, she's just off her meds and, you know, making excuses and shit. So, nothing ever happened. Nothing ever really happened. Now, it's been a year. Literally a year. And, um... One of those women have died. Literally. And I knew something had happened because I had a dream about pregnancy. I had a dream about pregnancy, but it wasn't about me being pregnant. It wasn't about anybody around me being pregnant. I realized that because, you know, I had my period and then... You know, normally when I have pregnancy dreams, it's either about me or somebody else. I've never had a dream that revolved around death. If you look up pregnancy dreams, that um, pregnancy dreams can actually equal to a death meaning. It can actually mean death. So that's what happened. I had a dream about pregnancy and I didn't know what was going to happen. And then like maybe two days later, we have a crime scene going on around our apartment. Then we realize one of those women have actually beat the shit out of each other. And we kind of heard this happening, I believe, somewhat. Oh, so pretty over here. We kind of heard this happening, you know, but it was during the day and there was some suspicious stuff going on. And we got generally tired of calling the cops and nothing being done about it. So we just let the shit happen. We didn't see anything. We don't know these people personally. We didn't really talk to them. We just seen them off and on. Seemed nice, and you know, you know, you, you know how you just don't want to get involved in that. I gotta eat the food. You just don't want to get involved in a domestic abuse situation ever. If anything goes down, it's on me. But yeah, one of the women died behind us. We had a dead neighbor behind us, and it was just so sad and crazy. That shook us up for a couple of days. One of the women, we're not sure if it was the one who was being abused or if the one who was being abused got fed up and beat the other one to a pulp. No, we don't even know. We don't even have the full details right now. The cops have, still have not told us the full details. I think they're still trying to investigate. I think they're still trying to investigate what happened. Because, yeah, one of them died. It was a big crime scene and apparently it was pretty bad and pretty nasty in there because they were in there for hours and they couldn't really tell us what happened. We had to fill up police reports because we were practically the only witnesses. I don't know what was going on with the neighbors next to them. I don't know if anybody lives next to them anymore. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but basically me and my husband are the like main witnesses to to how long they were fighting and what we heard that night and what we heard the previous night and blah blah blah. We always heard crying and screaming and all kind of junk over there with this lesbian couple. So unfortunately one of them has died. Like I said, we don't know how she died. We, we just don't know. I don't know, so I try to keep you guys posted on what's really going on. If we hear anything, I don't know when we hear anything. I don't know if we'll be in trial with this shit. Yo, I don't know, but it's really, really sad. Let's just know that. It is really, really sad indeed. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. And surviving during this coronavirus issue. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying home, and staying well. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.
Thank you.